you know, it's interesting because it helps bridge uh, different gaps that are hard to, uh, hard to bring together without social networking. So uh, people who would not come to an event like this, you know, you can update you know, your Twitter status or put on Facebook what happened, and maybe yeah. they'll be inclined to come out next time. So yeah. I think it's great for getting the word out there besides passing out party flyers. And I think those days are, you know, close to over, you know, just dropping party flyers and putting right. them so. Okay. Okay, I think here at DC, um, especially Park itself, has a lot of uh, opportunities for um, black professionals to network in DC as a whole. And there's um, DC networking events um, and organizations all over, so uh, it's something that happens every week when I think here. I think that's a little bit obsessive. I mean, you don't need the whole idea of child support is supposed to be a child. This is a baby who does not need $95,000 a month to make their family work. So I think that's a little obsessive. I think it was actually the thing that gave him the upper edge for actually all of the candidates that were running. You know, he was the, one of the first candidates that had his, his uh, fully functional website and um, and just really was engaging uh, the population in a, in a different way. And I think that's really what helped him set himself apart from a lot of the other candidates at the time. So for him, it really helped him. I mean, it, it, it helped jumpstart everything and really kind of bring in that, that younger demographic across the